What's up everybody, it's your host Nathan Ng and today we're coming back at you with another Pro Guides video. For all of you Silva mains out there, we have a crazy video for you today. But before we begin, our question of the day is what are your thoughts on the new Omen rework? Let us know in the comments down below and I personally think that his look is super dope and I can't wait to see that end game. If you're looking to up your Silva gameplay or learn some new tricks to assist your team, these recon dart lineups are the perfect thing for all level of skill on Silva. From beginners to pro, these will help you and your team succeed in every match that you play and the enemy team scrambling in fear. So let's go ahead and jump right into those 25 Silva recon darts. 1. Okay, starting off at number 1, we have the sick arrow on the middle of Bind. Stand against these two stacked cardboard boxes right outside the portal near Hookah, turn around and look for the silo on the roof behind the Hookah and aim on that white smudge. Full charge, two bounces and it'll fly into the backside of the B site. Use this before you enter B site to clear out a couple of angles before you finally move in. 2. Next up, we're going to be going towards B long before getting to the fountain. Find these cactus on the rock wall behind you, stand behind them and look towards the roof in front of you. The roof is angled so look for the small notch on the sandstone corner and line it up with the first bend in the solar panel. Once ready, charge your 1.5 and, and fire. It will go through the skylight and land right into the center of Hookah. 3. Heading over to the third recon dart is this crazy 8 sight retake arrow. This will be perfect to use before trying to take 8 sight from the attacking side. First, find these 3 barrels before going past the defending side spawn and stand in between this orange line and the wires on the ground. Look for the white dot in the dark smudge and charge up to 2 with 1 bounce. It will bounce all the way over heaven and land on the curved roof scanning both sides of 8 sight for enemies. 4. Spawning in on the tag side coming over to the left side of A short. Find this barrel and stand to the left of it. Line your crosshair up in between the painting and the wall. Then, look for the white and gray arrow on the right wall and make sure that your crosshair lines up in the middle of it. See who bounces and a full charge will send it straight over the wall high up between the lamps and A site. It will give you vision to the lamp store and then close right corner from the A short to make out a comfortable push towards sight. 5. Coming over to the B set, we're going to be in the B link right in front of the doorway. Set over the left corner and line your left knuckle up with the top edge of this window. Do a quick left click and release to land the arrow over the roof and onto the wall next to the portal. The main use of this recon dart is to see if anyone is trying to come onto sight. Wait to hear a noise B long before shooting recon dart as it will only see into the room right before B set and stretch the wall before the room as well. 6. If you want some early information to see what side of the map the enemy is working towards, head over to the back of B site. Stand in the back right corner and put the tip of your ear onto the gray box above the dark gray roofing. Charge it two and a half and then let her rip. It will land in the outside of bathrooms right on top of the teleporter, giving you vision of the outside bathrooms and slightly above the doorway. You can also choose to use this later in the round depending on what information that you have. Even if you choose to use this recon dart and you end up seeing nobody, remember no information is information in itself. 7. Next in line is this OP recon dart from the inside of bathrooms to see A-Sight and Heaven. Stand on top of the drain past the ultimate orb, aim towards the skylight above and look at the bottom left V in the design. Aim in the middle of the V and bring your crosshair up until it's right above the end of the next V in the roof. Charge up to 1.5 and, and fire. Like the A-Sight retake recon dart, it lands on a slanted roof above sight. In this case, it lands to the left side of the roof seeing into Heaven and A-Sight at the same time making it easy to peek out of the bathroom or to wallbang someone holding from heaven. 8. Next, we're going to be heading over to Split. As a defending player, go over to the A ramp and look through the metal bars on your right. Line up to the wall on the right one and then two metal beams sticking out the pastel roof until it's covered. Line up your crosshair with the metal spike and the metal beam right above the bottom edge of it. One bounce and a full charge will allow it to land outside of B main. Using this early round or late round can result in the round deciding information. 9. Now the opposite. On the attacking side, go towards A and stand on the right of this grass display and aim towards the top right of the blue sign. Set yourself to one bounce and full charge and it will bounce off the sign and into the A ramp giving you vision of the A ramp and slightly into heaven. You can also use the spot with shock arrows to damage someone trying to fight you from the ramp. 10. Following after, we are going to B main and standing outside of this giant trash pile. Look for the orange box sticking out and stand above the corner of it. Then look to the roof and put your crosshair on the white line directly on the side of the satellite dish on the roof. One bounce and a full charge will bank the arrow off the roof and onto A ramp for some cheeky information towards A. 11. Now with our 11th arrow is a decently complicated one. On the same trash pile outside of B main, go into the corner and look up. Move to the left until your crosshair lines up with the roof, then turn around and find the discolored rectangle and shingles on the roofing. Put your crosshair on the top right corner and don't move your mouse. Move back towards the roof that connects into the middle of the map and line your bow with the roof above you. Then full charge and fire. This will land on the top of the box into B-side heaven giving you vision on both sides of heaven. 
This makes for some extremely useful information when coming out of B-Site or even mid. 12. Our 12th arrow is right where ours last landed, right inside of B-Heaven. Stand on top of the box on this edge, look towards the roof and find the brown smudge then follow it up just below the first wire. A full charge with no bounces will land it cleanly on top of market for vision of all the middle. Combining this with a teammate using an operator from ropes can give some great first picks and an easy man advantage. 13. Stepping onto B site, we're going to be heading over to the back right corner of the site, right behind the two stacked boxes. Find this crack in the pavement near the newspaper and look up towards the building above. Find the pinkish roof corner and aim just below where it would be. Use two bounces with a full charge and watch the recon bolt do a seamlessly magical travel all the way across the middle of the map. This will give you sight of both sides of the middle for the ultimate information grab during the round. 14. Finally going over to A site, stand against this corner under heaven. Aim at this corner on the white building towards the attack spot and send over a full charge arrow with two bounces. It will bounce back and forth between the white building and the pillar on your left finally landing on A long high up on the wall. This makes for some good info if anyone's trying to push down A short or just chilling out by the coffee shop at the back. 15. Loading onto our last map we have Haven with a sick recon dart from B site. Find the sun and line it up with the middle of the wood wall. Look at the roof and then find the third window from the left. Aim up in the middle of the window and then pull your crosshair higher in the right wooden beam above the window. Two bounces and a full charge will send it straight behind the middle window and A long. Using this early round will get you information if they're coming through A early or later and see if anyone is lurking. 16. Similar to the last one, we're still on B site. Line up yourself with the last window on the right of the roof. Aim in the middle of the window and then the wooden beam above. Two bounces and a full charge will send that one straight onto A site and we'll see close A long. The perfect arrow for retaking A site. 17. Go across C long, stand up on top of this yellow thing and turn around. Aim at the faded orange cloth and inside the gap where you can see the sky. One and a half charge sends it straight to the back of C site for quick and easy information. 18. Now when you're out in the middle, you can get some quick info into C site so you can decide where to push. Standing against this window near the garage, look towards the wood roof and line your crosshair up with the wood beam on the right side and a small wood panel to the left. A full charge and one bounce will make it land on the pod outside of Seasite, giving you some pretty good vision of site and plateau. 19. Another good way to get information towards A and window is by using Heaven. Stand on the edge of the window in Heaven, aim towards the roof of B site. Land it above the roof of sewers or A short. One and a half charges will send it to the same spot as our first Haven Recon Dart. Giving the same vision of the inside window doorway and a log. Super easy, like my ex. 20. Sitting down in T-spawn, we can really get a nice arrow on the wall of B-Site. Set on this leaf sitting on top of the concrete walkway and aim towards the bell above B-Site. Line up in between the bell and the ice mountain and see right below the round portion of the bell, then slightly to the right. A full charge and two bounces will send it straight through the window above site and onto the right wall in B. This gives deeper vision towards the right side of the site and can still see close on the left side. 21. If you're playing towards A, you can also get vision at C long by standing on these boxes near Cubby. Aim under a little bit below the corner of the roof after standing on the boxes. Fully charge your shot and it will slowly head towards C long, giving you the vision of enemies outside middle or rotating towards C long. This makes for some decent mid-round information, especially if a teammate wants to push down C long. 22. On C site, it's hard to get information as it's dangerous to peek down C long without some form of utility. Stand on this orange line and pull out the recon dart and line the E of the charge up to the electrical unit of the pole. Get the box to just about cover and do one and a half charge, landing in the bushes just above C wall, giving you vision of anyone near the ultimate orb. 23. If the attacking side takes C site, then you can use a recon dart from C2 to get information on where they are holding from. Stand on these pods and line your crosshair up with the close roof and B site roof. A 2.5 charge will land it right into the plateau giving you sight on both sides of the site boxes. 24. Now from C we can stand next to this tiny box on the top of the plateau. Look for the middle solid beam in the roof above the garage and then for the broken wooden beam sticking out to the wall on your left. Line both up in the air and use 2.5 charge to send it towards A long for a good early to late round recon dart. 25. Our final recon dart will give you vision of all sides on A site. Standing on the third rock outside of A-Long, aim towards the third notch of the wall and slightly down from it. Charge up to 2.5 and, and fire. It will land against the wall of heaven, giving vision of all a site and a little bit of A-Short. There are infinite recon dart lineups to find, but we hope all of these help you push your game to the next level. Don't be afraid to experiment on your own and find your own lineups, and if you guys do, don't be afraid to leave it down in the comments down below to help other people out. 
If you do find some, make sure to upload them and share it with everyone. Or just keep them to yourself, super secret. Don't forget that we have Valorant coaching coming in this week, so if you want to get better, you can visit us at ProGuides.com for those amazing coaching lessons. And that about finishes up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way through, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more tips, tricks, and guides. Let us know in the comments what video idea you want to see next. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.